Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about die casting process. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the raw material ingots. So what is an ingot? An ingot is a material, usually metal, that is cast into a shape suitable for further processing. Ingots are commonly round or square or rectangular in shape. You can see some examples down the bottom in this image. Each ingot consists of a certain amount of metal which is of a known mass and this can be used to quantify material requirements. So let's have a look at how to identify metal ingots. We have some common materials over here in this table. We have a zinc alloy, copper alloy, aluminium alloy and magnesium alloy. And you can see here some of these are trademark names and others are common grade numbers. For example, we have the zinc alloy as Zamac 3, 5, 7 and 2. We also have ZA 8, 12 and 27, for example. In the zinc alloy, the table on the bottom, we have a color code reference. You can see that the Zamac 3 for example, has no color coding, whereas the Zamac 7, for example, has the brown color coding. So it's very easy to identify and look for the different color codings when you're dealing with zinc alloy ingots. So let's go through some of those common materials used in die casting. So most die castings are made from non-ferrous metals, such as zinc alloy. Now zinc based alloys are the easiest to die cast. Their ductility is high and impact strength is excellent, making these alloys suitable for a wide range of products. Copper alloy and copper based alloys are generally known as brass or bronze. They provide the highest mechanical properties of any of the normal die cast metals. Brasses have high strength and toughness good wear resistance and excellent corrosion resistance. Aluminum alloy. Aluminum die casting alloys are lightweight, offer good corrosion resistance, ease of casting, good mechanical properties and dimensional stability. Magnesium alloys. Now magnesium alloys are noted for low weight, high strength to weight ratio, exceptional damping capacity and ease of machining. Casting temperatures are about the same as aluminum and both hot chamber and cold chamber machines are used to produce castings. We will cover the difference between hot chamber and cold chamber machines in a later video. Here is an example of some bronze cast products. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you hit this little bell button here, that will give you a notification every time we update or load new information. My name is Paul Adams from Softeast. Thanks very much for listening to this video. I shall see you in the next one. Check out our other videos in this series. You can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China.